what up? It's Arisa with SC Factory. In this video, we will be looking at an RB26 OEM intake manifold. That will be going on an RB30 bottom end, RB26 head, RB30 bottom, and it will be going to an S13. I will have the link to that build in the description. Okay, so the first thing I was gonna start out looking at was this. This is obviously the first part of the intake manifold. It has the outer runners and this uh, full piece here. Um, so a couple things, the OEM IAT is located here. Um, our, ours was broken, so we're, we're just gonna be plugging that off. We have an aftermarket one we're going to use. Um, the rest of the manifold is fairly simple. Uh, you have your um, bracket for the throttle cable and these uh, three ports here. Um, this port goes to this, which is actually uh, your idle air control. Uh, this this one here, I believe, goes to the cold start valve. Um, which we'll take a better look at that later. And this one is miscellaneous. Uh, not really 100% sure uh, where that one went to the OE on the on an OEM GTR. Um, but there's a couple ports here that you really are not going to use. Um, this piece here is the piece that basically bolts underneath here for your idle control. This is kind of like the distribution center for all your vacuum. The reason for that is that the um, obviously with these variable uh, throttle bodies for each runner, um, they have uh, have very limited spacing as far as as far as you know gathering all the air and having a normal idle and having proper vacuum and everything because normally that would all be located on your intake manifold. You have basically individual vacuum for each one of these ports. So Nissan decided to use this, which is a balance tube. You have a bunch of holes that go onto your your runner, which is you know before or after the throttle body. So it basically takes vacuum. It's like a sample vacuum from each port. So you ultimately wind up with a normal um, vacuum. This. Is, goes on top like so and then these two vacuum tubes go underneath the manifold um, at that point this and this will be connected to this little dis vacuum distribution block we can call it and one goes here and then one goes here the other vacuum ports these two uh, not sure what they're used for from the factory on a factory GTR uh, we were planning on just blocking them off uh, <clears throat> these here, I'm pretty sure I've seen multiple threads that one of these actually sometimes is not included, but we're going to use this one for the brake booster. Um, we'll probably wind up blocking this one off if we don't need the, the port. One of the last ports is, is this one here. This is for the cold start. So it would go to your cold start valve here, and then the cold start valve from this one would ultimately go to this port. Um, it's it's quite a bit of, of things and, I'm, and it's still hard to find information which is one of the reasons why I made made this video it, it was kind of difficult to find a lot of things uh, also we're running a map sensor so kind of came up with this here this is originally like a kind of like a PCV um, but we, we're running a catch can so uh, this, this something like this should be okay it's just basically the map the map is, is a little bit more difficult to acquire uh, when you have these throttle bodies but we're hoping this this way works I've seen a couple other uh, on forums people saying ah, do it this way T this T that but I feel like this this is one of the better ways to to run a map sensor we might change that later I guess last but not least there's you have this piece here that goes on the bottom this is for coolant, uh, that's all it's really for. Uh, I did notice that there was this here. It's actually an open uh, an open piece on the side. I'm not sure, originally I think that goes to the fuel rail, something with, uh, uh, I believe like a kind of like freeze, anti-freeze kind of thing, but we'll probably wind up plugging that off as well. Um, there's multiple things on here that just aren't necessary. Um, this being, one, I'm not sure where this originally went to on the GTR, but it's uh, 
it's just it's blocked it was blocked off pr prior this is just the tps and this mounts to the to the intake and you have uh, adjustments here for for your um for your throttles this again is is a balance tube it is basically to get a accumulation of all uh essentially map uh, uh manifold absolute pressure from after the throttle bodies um this is of course your idle control this here goes to this here and i stated the rest of where as far as we know where those rest of the vacuum ports go again there's not a lot of stock rb26s here in the states so it's a little harder to get information uh, a lot of the stuff i've seen has been uh mostly in england or other places where gtrs were available um but still r34s i believe are not technically legal yet although i do see a lot of them out there so uh this video will help anybody looking to use this this oem intake obviously aftermarket intakes are also available uh, we are considering that but this is a pretty good design once you figure out how it works uh cool so if you guys have any questions or anything just leave a comment and um We'll probably have some more RB stuff in the future.